How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. It is Big Mike and guys today we're going to be playing with a very strange deck that I came up with and it's a deck as you guys can see that is very very strange. It involves the Prince and Balloon combo. So this is a Prince Balloon deck. Now I thought to myself man you know I remember when I, when I first played this account in the very beginning and Prince was such a good card. And I really want to bring the Prince back, so I thought, what would be a good support card with the Prince? You know, we've already done, I mean, people have already done P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince and all that, so I thought to myself, let's do a Prince and Balloon deck. That would be pretty cool to try. So I threw in the Tornado Executioner, Tombstone, uh, Lightning Spell, and Zap and Minions. So uh, we have a pretty good counter for, I guess, Hogs and uh, Air Attacks and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to have to see how this deck does. And I have the lightning spell in there just in case um, they have like a cannon or some kind of defensive building to get in the way of our prince's charge. And I have the zap for like skeleton armies and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I decided to make this a non-legendary deck. So there is no legendaries in this deck. So I'm pretty sure you can unlock all this stuff. Let me check when we can unlock all this. I'm pretty sure you can unlock all this stuff in the... Uh, yeah, since Goblin Stadium, when do you unlock Balloon? Alright, so you unlock Balloon there. Where's the Prince? Okay, the Prince is the last one. So you can use this deck pretty much from Arena 2 and all the way up, which is pretty cool. Hopefully I'm not forgetting something. Oh no, you know what? We have the Zap in there. So yeah, Arena 5. So, okay. Arena 5 and up, that's not bad. So, we're going to give this deck a try. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I forgot we had the Execution there too, and Tornadoes. So, yeah, this deck is probably still going to be used for like the middle arenas, which is from a uh, jungle arena so but hey no legendaries i'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna go ahead and jump into a challenge and see how this deck does so wish me luck this is a very weird deck prince and balloon i'm trying to determine uh how we can use this i'm gonna give him a thumbs up and give him good luck we don't have a very good hand we have mostly spells so i'm gonna have to go ahead and cycle these minions and then i'll go ahead and put an execution in the back so he's got a golem i'm gonna go ahead and just put this executioner back here just so he can waste something and I'm gonna put this tombstone up here so is he gonna sacrifice that tower he might because those minions and executioner will take that tower and then we're gonna go ahead and do a prince push in the back that way the prince will go ahead and get its charge on that golem oh wow so we got one of those we're gonna go ahead and tornado all this away hopefully we can stop the tornado in time I need to zap all that boom all right, so that tower is going to be gone too. Oh, I was really hoping we could defend that, but we took a tower. I'm going to give him a well played because we both took, you know, both each other's tower with one push. So, not bad. So far, we kind of stopped the golem. At least he didn't three crown us, but he's using a very, very deadly golem graveyard deck. So, should be fun. But I think we're going to get this guy in double elixir for sure. He played a pump, so I'm probably going to go ahead and lightning spell spell it maybe yeah I'm gonna go ahead and lightning spell it hurry up and get it before it gives him another oh gave him an elixir so we're just gonna have to just say well I'm not gonna say oops oh he's got a P.E.K.K.A too what a weird deck he's got here P.E.K.K.A graveyard golem so I guess I guess I can kind of see what he's doing here he's kind of you know has a deck built so I don't, I don't know you know what I don't know what he's doing I don't think I've ever seen a deck like this so hopefully that tombstone will stop him Probably not. Might have to do some minions here. He's placing a golem, so we'll go ahead and do a prince, and then we'll do a prince uh, minion push. Oh, he's going to arrow that. Well played, well played. Okay. So hopefully the prince will do some good damage in that tower. And we're going to go ahead and use the executioner here. And he said thanks. I'm not sure what he said thanks for. We're going to go ahead and do all this. Put a tombstone here. I'm going to go ahead and zap all that. Oh, I thought I did zap. Where'd the minions come from? All right, so we defended that quite well, I hope. Come on, come on, come on, take it out, take it out, minions. Oh, my goodness. So they got a lot of damage, but we did get a lot more damage than him. So we're going to go Prince and Balloon, and we'll see how he stops that. Oh, he put down a P.E.K.K.A. That's not going to be good for him. So we'll go ahead and take... Oh, he, he wasted his Elixir Collector. Computer falling asleep. I wish it would quit doing that. Wake up, computer. And we are sitting on Elixir. And then we're going to go ahead and do this, an Executioner. Just because I don't want him to play his Golem. So that should be good game. Good game. And we're going to go ahead and Tornado this Golem right on back there. We're going to go ahead and zap his tower. He had a strange deck. Why did he have the P.E.K.K.A. in there? 
the um the golem and the graveyards are already a really good uh meta deck so i'm not too sure why he threw the peck in there i guess he has the peck as like a defense for like double elixir in case someone else has a golem i guess i can kind of see what he was trying to do there I guess you know what I don't know it's too heavy to have a P.E.K.K.A. and a golem in there it, it's too heavy and that cost him it so wow Prince balloon deck it is working all right so let's play scribbly lines here and we will go ahead and put my executioner down he's got a battle ram so it's probably a three musketeer battle ram deck most likely hopefully he doesn't have a zap he doesn't so that should take it out just fine and we're gonna go ahead and do the Prince he's got a P.E.K.K.A. So let me go ahead and just push this all the way back here. There we go. Oh, it didn't move it. Wow. Okay. I thought the tornado would have moved it way more back than that. So this guy's playing a very weird deck too. Executioner and uh, Battle Ram deck. Oh, no. He placed that. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, wow. This guy's a ton of elixir. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and zap that so we don't get all that damage. Why did I put the tombstone right there? Again, my finger slipped. So this is not looking good for us. Oh my goodness. The tombstone was supposed to go in front of the tower. I just let go of it too soon, I guess. Okay, so P.E.K.K.A. Battle Ram deck. Uh, you know what? I'm happy to see some creativity. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't know. It's going to go ahead and fireball that, which is fine. We're going to have to try to make a comeback here, which I'm not too worried about doing. So we're going to place the Prince, and then I'm going to build up a good push. And then I'm going to drop the Balloon, because I don't think he has a good Balloon counter. Unless, oh, well, he does have the Executioner. So we're going to go ahead and just lightning whatever he puts here. All right. Hopefully the prince can take out the executioner. That will be pretty cool. Take it out. 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 There we go. And get a hit off the tower. That is what I'm talking about. All right. So he's got a P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to go ahead and throw him balloon down. And I got the zap ready for whatever he's got. So we'll go ahead and just zap the archer in the tower. Hopefully we can get at least one shot. Come on, balloon. Get there, balloon. Get there, balloon. We did not get there. That is crazy. All right, so I'm going to do Executioner. He's going to bring his Battle Ram in right there, so I'm not too worried about that. All right. He's going to do that. Very well played, but I'm going to go ahead and take out that. Oh, 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 oh. Push it back, push it back. Go get him, minions. Get it. All right, so he's going to bring in another Executioner, so I'm going to go ahead and just do another Lightning Spell right here. Hopefully, we can target everything. There we go. We got the P.E.K.K.A. too. And then I'm just going to do another Executioner to defend. Alright, and we're going to put this here. Hopefully the Battle Ram goes there. It's not going to. Oh yeah, it is going to go there. Okay, sweet. Hopefully he misses that log. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, so there's 20 seconds left. I'm going to throw a Prince down and see what we can do. All he needs is one more Fireball. But all I need is one more Zap. And, uh, Earth. well, no. I think the Lightning Spell should be enough. Let's go ahead and see if I can do it. It is enough. So hopefully he doesn't have his fireball. Yeah, he's got his fireball. Will that be enough? That will be enough. Okay, well played, well played. So we're still in it. We're going to go ahead and play an executioner back here. And we're going to go for Prince Balloon combo. Hopefully it will be enough. He's going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do Prince. We'll do this. And then we'll put that there. And then we'll do all this. We're going to zap all that. Stop the freaking... Oh my goodness, no! Don't die! And that's a good game. He well played on that. Nothing we can do right there. That was a pretty good deck. I kind of like that. There's some creativity in it. A P.E.K.K.A. and Battle Ram. So that was a very good game. We're going to go ahead and jump into another one so we can get another win. I actually kind of like this uh, P.E.K.K.A. I mean, not P.E.K.K.A. The Prince uh, Balloon deck. It's actually really, really fun. And it's fun using new things. So hopefully we can make it work in this match. Oh, uh, we don't have our Tombstone. So I'm going to have to just go ahead and use Minions on that hog and then we're gonna build a counter push out of it we'll do the prince I'll get my zap ready yep there's the skeleton army we'll zap that and we should be able to get into that tower just fine and he's got that come on prince charge no he didn't get the charge off which sucks but he did get a shot off which is not not too bad I guess not too bad at all let's see what to do what to do what to do so he's got a hog deck so we can test this deck against a hog deck but I didn't have my tombstone in the beginning, but now I do. So I am going to save the tombstone for that pesky little hog rider. All right, what you going to do? I might go ahead and drop this balloon. Oh, he's got a witch. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop this balloon. 
and I'm gonna wait for him to drop something else. Elite barbs, hopefully we can take out all that. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Well played, Mike. We are gonna take that tower for sure. Oh, he's got a Night Witch too. You know what's a really good Night Witch counter? Minions. Minions are a good Night Witch counter. We didn't take that tower. Wow, I'm very shocked we didn't take that tower. But that's okay because I think the Lightning Spell will take that out. If not, I do have the Zap too, so. All right, should we go ahead and target that other tower? I think yes we do. So he's got a hog, night witch, witch, and what else does he have? He's got he's just got everything. We'll put the tombstone down now because that should be enough to take it out. And we'll do this prince right here, <clears throat> and we should be able to take out the hog no problem. Don't give him any more hits. There we go. And now I'm gonna start pushing for that other side because I can just lightning down that other one. Go ahead and zap that. Just maybe we can have the prince finish off this. Yep, he's going to finish off the tower. No problemo. Should I just defend? He wasted that fireball. There was no need for that fireball. None at all. So we're going to place Executioner. I really should have saved the Executioner for this Night Witch and Witch combo, which is pretty deadly. This guy is a pretty deadly deck. So we'll go ahead and do this. I need to get back to my Tombstone. All right, so he's not doing anything. He's going to play his Witch, which is great because I will go ahead and place this Lightning Spell on the witch that should be enough we'll just go ahead and put this hog up here and our balloon executioner should get all that no problem we're gonna go ahead and place the prince here yo let's go ahead and try to three crown this guy let's go three crown come on we can get this three crown with this deck i know we can you know what this deck is pretty deadly i'm not gonna lie how deadly this is this is a pretty good deck holy cow i'm very impressed mike thank you guys thank you <laughs> And there's the three crown. We're going to go ahead and give him a good game and a well played. We took out a hog rider deck. I'm okay with that because most of the matches I play are versus hog riders. So at least we know it's pretty good against that. So that is pretty sweet. Oh, we have that crown chest. We'll have to open it up after this match. Okay. All right. Jason 507 from two Koltu clan. Okay. All right. Um, Cycle minions. Not really sure what else we can do here. Play a card. Golem. Okay, so we're going to just go uh, Balloon, get some damage, and let's see what he's got to counter the Balloon. He's got the Baby Dragon. I'm okay with that, because we should still be able to get a hit off, and that minion over there is doing work on that on that uh, Baby Dragon. It should go in the Bomb, too. Hopefully. Maybe not. Oh, the Baby Dragon's going to take out my Tombstone. I didn't even think about that. Let's go ahead and just do this. We'll put them all here. Oh, there we go. We need to put them in the center. I'm going to go ahead and zap this so we can kill the Executioner. Kill the Executioner. Oh, well played. Well played. Holy cow. I'm going to have to put this minions here. Hopefully, we can save this tower. Okay, there we go. Wow. I cannot believe we did not got that hit. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want it to get damaged. I don't want it to get damaged. Tombstone, go. Did it get it? No. Ah. Oh, I hate it when it takes forever to play stuff in this game. There's always that little bit of lag. It takes forever to play something. All right, Salty Mike, calm down. We can still do this. So he's playing a Golem deck. So the best thing to do is just pretty much, when he drops the Golem, just go ahead and place something down. There's the Golem again. So we'll go ahead and put the Balloon again. And I'm going to go ahead. I don't know if that's going to work. And then we're going to go ahead and place. That tower should be gone. So we're going to do a Prince Prince push attack thing here. Hopefully get some good damage. And Boom. We'll just ignore the baby dragon for right now. And that should go boom, and that's it. Wow, we still didn't take that tower with that balloon. That baby dragon does good. Is that a rocket? This man just used a rocket. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that other side. Prince is going to die because he did hit it with the rocket. So we are pretty pretty close here in double elixir. So I'm just going to split minions again. This is a terrible hand right here. And we're going to go ahead and put this here. And he's going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. He put Executioner down there. Might have to Lightning whatever he brings out against this balloon. No, he's not going to do that. So we're going to do Prince. Can I hit that? I could. Come on, get a hit. Get a hit. Perfect. Okay, so we still got a hit. We should be able to take out the Executioner. No problem. We're going to go ahead and bring all this here. So we can take out all that. I still have my Lightning spell. Oh, man. He's going to rocket my Executioner. That was well played. That was well played. Okay, so we're going to put this here. And then I'm going to go for another Balloon. And I'm going to go ahead. There we go. Perfect. So we should be able to take that out. I'm going to go ahead and lightning that and that. Hopefully I can zap whatever he brings out and get take that tower down. Come on. Get there. I think we win. I think we win. Is that enough? Please be enough. Please be enough. It is enough. Good game. 
Well played. He didn't take any of our towers. None. Wow. 71 health left. Oh, he was a level 8. I didn't even notice he was a level 8. He played pretty damn good for a level 8. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty That was pretty impressive. So, we got three wins and one loss with this deck. Go ahead and show you it again. You know what? I actually really, really like this deck. I'm actually going to keep it as my battle deck 4 and probably try to play it some more. See if I can get a 12 win on the challenge or something. 4.0 deck. Not bad. I can't use it on the ladder because... All my epics are pretty much level 4 and 5, so I'll get destroyed. But, we're going to go ahead and open this crown chest here. Alright, no legendary. Ugh, guards. It's the worst epic in my opinion. But, that is my opinion. Guys, leave a like for this deck. It worked out really well. And seriously, try it out. It's a lot of fun. It actually can counter a lot of stuff. You know, we stopped two golem decks, I believe. And we stopped a hog deck. And I can't remember what we lost to. Oh, Battle Ram Pekka deck, which is very... Very weird, a very strange deck. We don't have the greatest P.E.K.K.A. counters. What can I say? But guys, stay awesome. I'll see you next time for the next episode. Take care and peace.